Hi guys, Chris here. Thanks for joining me once again. So today we've got a story um, about someone's disappointed and we better report on that because we can't have someone disappointed can we? And that certain someone is uh, Giovanni Galli. Now those who don't know who Giovanni Galli is, well, you haven't done your research, have you? I mean, he's an Italian World Cup winner in 1982, though he didn't really do much because he was just a squad player. Played for Fiorentina in the late 70s and 80s. And uh, even Socrates, the Brazilian mastermind, shared uh, one year in Fiorentina with him. And even played with Gianfranco Zola in Napoli. But most importantly, he was a member of Ferri Gosaki's Milan for about four seasons. So, yeah, he was a very prominent goalkeeper in his own right. So, props to him, yeah? Now, why am I talking about Giovanni Galli? Well, he's disappointed because Spurs signed Willy Vick. He stated that Italian keepers should stay in Italy um, because apparently they have the best school of, or the best academies of goalkeeping. Chesney was mediocre before he went to Italy and from there his career boomed from the national the Poland, Polish national team. Alisson was mediocre. Um, went to Rome, boomed. So you know, his Liverpool um, career from, you know, since he went to Liverpool meant nothing, really, I suppose, well, it's very debatable. And even Mike Magnan, who's now at Milan, apparently got into the national team, uh, thanks to going to Italy from France. Well, Mike Magnan's been at Milan since 2001 and he's been in the national squad since 2020. Might have been a hiccup, but still could have learned his trade, but he's only been there. He's only played for the national team, sorry, for eight, eight times he's got eight caps. So could be a, could have stepped in uh, poopy for that one. But does he have a point? Should young and upcoming goalkeepers stay and learn their trade for their entirety or go abroad and let other teams, other foreign teams, um, get the best of the supposed best goalkeeping academies. I'm not sure. I suppose it's like everything. We've got a lot of young players, for example, in England, got Jaden Sancho, Jude Bellingham, going abroad, learning a trade. Jude's obviously staying abroad. Jaden's come back, hasn't had the best of seasons. But they're just two prime examples of young players going abroad very, very early. But in the case of Vicario, he's not that young. He's 26, 27. Of course, in goalkeeping terms, he is young because they, they peak. Um, quite a lot quite later in life yeah so it's a big debate but I don't know is, is Giovanni Galli right does he have a point or is it just a sense of national pride I don't know not a lot of Italian goalkeepers have gone aboard really have they I mean they've already they've always stayed and stayed in Italy and done their thing and whether they've gone from one team to another or they've really been 
left to rot on a bench because really foreign players have outplayed them really still let me know what you think I mean it's just reporting on what an outstanding goalkeeper that Giovanni Galli was um, regarding on what his thoughts were regarding the signing of, of Willy Vic to, uh, to Spurs I thought that was a bit interesting and thought I might bring it to your attention I thought it was interesting um, just to mix it up a bit from the old uh, Harry Kane situation the two centre backs it's getting a bit monotonous um, but we've still got to talk about it because it's a day to day Spurs I suppose so let me think let me know what you think sorry um, and if you find me somehow in this internet ether world thingy if you liked it you want to subscribe you want to comment all the good stuff please do so and once again thank you for joining me been my pleasure take care bye